don't know. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John, this is Dr. Jimenez. St. John? Hey, Doc. This is Deacon. What can I do for you? Oh, St. John, good. I need you to stop by the infirmary. Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no. Nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's an order. All right, Doc. All right, fine. Whatever you say. St. John out. St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain. I'm here. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, all these talks are informal, enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. Oh, right, a commander who likes to give fireside chats. Can't wait. Hey, D, I've got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. I uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? Let me tell you, man. Before shit went down, I used to run this website called You Need Guns? I Got Guns dot com. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. That's where I've seen you before. You had a, you had a cable show. Uh, my old man used to watch it back in the day. Hey, your old man had good taste. Goddamn right I did. I used to travel the country hitting up out-of-the-way gun shows, flea markets, shit like that. Ah, I guess this is about as out-of-the-way as it gets. I guess it isn't that, huh? Oh, yeah, I got me one of those. Nice piece. Hello. Hey. I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm Ella Salazar. Just call me Sal. So, uh, this is where I bring bounty ears? Mm-hmm. This is the place. If you have any freaker ears, bring them to me. Got it. Oh, you've got a few. Good. That's all I got today. All right. Corporal. You take care now. Two days, dozens of new recruits have joined our ranks. We welcome you. We do not care about the color of your skin. We do not care what country you were born in. We do not care if you are a man or a woman. We do not care if you are gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. These are things beyond your control. These are things that God has ordained, and we accept them. What we do not accept are liars, thieves, rapists, murderers, fornicators, adulterers, oath breakers, drug addicts, or criminals of any kind from this life or the one before. Yeah. How you conduct yourself, how you act in the eyes of God, these are things that you do control. Any soldier or officer found guilty of any transgression, no matter how small, will be brought here to this very scaffold and will be hanged by the neck until they are dead. This punishment may seem cruel to some of you, but you have my promise. Any punishment of ours is a great mercy compared to the punishment of God that is being unleashed on the world outside these walls. None of us is perfect. We do not expect perfection. What we do expect is obedience, yeah. Yeah. order, and discipline. Give us these things, and we will win this war. Company dismissed.
Hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Gentlemen, have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. All right, keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing, when the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together, fought together. Latinos, güeros, chinos, bloods, crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc. St. John, come in! Taylor, did you get St. John? Taylor. Haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you'd gotten too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in their friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at, the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got... Oh, shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! No! Taylor? Taylor! Oh, damn it! Okay, here we go. Can use this. Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. Bring him down! I don't think he can hear us. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on! Let's do this. Cut him! Can you hear that? Get him the fuck out of here! Come on! What do you think? Maybe we can turn this in at that army camp. And get some credits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm coming, Taylor. Hang in there.
Finally, Jesus. Jesus, something went down. Wonder if the poor bastard had anything on the floor. Gotta hit that supply run in the morning. Taylor. Um, you know, I've had better days, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Okay, listen to me, pal. Take this, hold it against your head like that. Good. No, I want you to uh, wait here. I'm gonna go radio uh, Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker, checking on your progress. Corporal, I told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, th thank you, Dave. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp just off of South Rift Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, no, listen, no, no, no. no. These bastards, if we have an injured man, Private Taylor, they fucking slice his ear. Jesus, is he all right? Private Taylor? What's he doing out there? Yeah, he's gonna live. But no, no idea what he was doing out here. I need you to send Doc, uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now and let him go. Hurry up. <laughs> Good night. doing, buddy? Like I said, man, I have to... Another bounty. Like I said, man, I've had better days. Uh, <laughs> I think the bleeding stopped. Oh, no, no, it hasn't. Uh, uh, help is on the way. You hang tight. Uh, you want me to come back and wait with you? No, oh, no, oh, hell no, no, no. I mean, I, I already feel like a little bitch, you know. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Here. I'll stop by the infirmary later. I'll see how you're doing. Hey, I've seen that thing. It's pretty cushy. We better be out here, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, I've seen it too. Uh, don't give the doc too much trouble. 
Huh? You got that? Deacon out. Oh, need it. 